I'm Scott R.C. Levy, and I'm playing the other man. And I'm Sally the Sybil, and I'm playing woman number one. Yes. You're next. Uh, <laughs> Jordan Lee, I am man one. I'm Mackenzie Sherburn, and I am woman number two. But you're all wrong, and you don't know, because you didn't make the program like I did. Ah, right? What did you say? You're, did you say? you're the wife. Oh, I'm you're the wife. You're the husband. And I'm the other woman? You're the younger woman. Oh. Oh, now I'm even Ouch. more offended. Is <laughs> <laughs> Max the younger man? That's yeah, right. Max. And I'm the other man. Okay. Oh, the other man. That's that's yeah. how they don't even know who they're playing. Wow! Did you have to contact someone? We're not going back and doing that again. My first show was The King and I, and I was one of the young children, and I believe I was 10, uh, 11 years old. Uh, when I was in kindergarten, yes. Uh, we did this. It was filmed for local access TV, and we were the Nine Planets. And I was, I, what's the tiny one? Pluto? No, the other tiny one. Mercury? Yeah. yeah. The first oh, one. Yeah. And then I'm so excited to watch it on TV. Yeah. And the well, shot wasn't wide enough and it cut oh, me out. No. <laughs> that, was, that was my first non appearance. But he had to probably a good lesson on the reality of the business. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly yeah, right. Really, really. I've been doing it my whole life too, just since I was a little kid. I was five as well, and I played. I was the lead Appleseed in Johnny Appleseed oh. in the children's theater, and I got to sing a little thing and pretend to be an Appleseed. Yeah, I really appreciate the work of a lot of the uh, Catskill comedians and the and the nineteen fifties uh, American comedic masters, particularly Mel Brooks and uh, and Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Too many to name, really, for me. A friend showed me a quote today that said, it's only art if it has the potential to be a disaster. <laughs> um, and so I, I, I mean, just, but people that are willing to take chances. And uh, Nathan Halverson, director, choreographer. I mean, the first show I ever saw was You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. And that's when I told my parents I wanted to be in the theater, and then I, they signed me up for a class the next week. So I guess Charles Schultz is my answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's like in my mind an eternal checklist. Like, I mean, you make sure you're warmed up, you make sure like you're physically ready. I always check my mic one last time, you know, a few of those kind of things. If you were playing, you know, if you were doing Death of a Salesman or something, you might be off stage. You know, just kind of, you know, really focusing, staying in character, things like that. But when you're doing stuff like this, I mean, it's fun. And, I guess and I'm a nerd. I have to say or sing every word that I have from when I enter till the next time I leave. Hmm. I think so. I, I, don't I mean, like butterflies, not like, I don't want to do this nervous, but just like excited. Yeah, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't think it's nervous. That feels... It doesn't feel like a positive emotion to me, um, but I mean, there's definitely there's definitely adrenaline and like desire to let energy out. That it really goes song to song, and the songs tell the story. It's very smart. It's very, you know, if you listen, if you actively engage in it, it's it's full of a great story, and it's fun. Which is surprising in itself that all these songs were not written for this piece. They were written for something else. And that somehow uh, Sondheim was able to take all these songs from these different projects of his and put them in a different format that still makes sense in a different way from their original intent. Getting to do such a cross-section of Sondheim, because when are you going to get a chance to do that? You're never going to get to do all these shows probably in your career, so to get to do songs from so many different Sondheim shows feels like, uh, you know, Christmas. Sondheim Christmas. It's a Sondheim Christmas. It's a Sondheim Christmas. <laughs> it's a very Christmas. That's what will surprise you. I'm excited yes. because I, was, I said earlier, it, Sondheim kind of reminds me of Shakespeare in that it just has lots of layers to the words. Like it's not, I don't think it's your typical musical theater where it's like, and we're singing and it's all pretty surface. Like there's just a lot going on and there's a lot to discover in the words, in the music, um, which is really exciting as an actor. You know, I think it's one of the things that defines the company right now. And 
if you look at the season, it's there's something for everyone. And this is an incredible challenge, but it's it says a lot that that the company is doing it. So I'm very appreciative.